Welcome to my humble little office. My name is R. Keith Andrews. I am a spiritual guide and paranormal adept. The journey continues today on July 9th, 2021 at approximately 9.32 a.m. PST. Well, things are progressing, sort of. Apparently, we've still got paperwork on our desk that we need to sort out, so that'll get that a day. But, with that in mind, so while I'm talking to you here, I'm going to do exactly what I told you, what I've been telling you to do. Get a list together of the things that you've got to get done. Unfortunately, um, to say the least, my life has been a little, a little hectic. A couple of things have been going on that make things complicated, to say the least. Not the least of which is the, you know, the reality is the energy in my in my office is actually coming into balance quite nicely. You know, what did I do with that? I put that over there. Okay. Yes, I talk to myself a lot. Yeah, you know, when I started this, it was a question of how to show people what I was doing to get the energy in my world turned around. Because these are the same tools I offer to a lot of other people in excess of 80,000 people, never mind the people that listen to it now. I'm talking about in excess of 80,000 I've talked to personally in my career. Okay, and that's been consulting uh, consulting personal, you know, personal issues, business issues, or UFO and alien technology issues. Life has been different. In, in a nutshell, my life is more like science fiction than anything else. And this is not to say it's better or worse. See, everybody on the planet has the exact same situation, literally. We all are born, we all have to eat, we all have to drink, okay? Because we all, if we do not do those, and we go, even if we do those, we are all born and we all die. And we are all at exactly this point in time, and this is the only point in time you can do anything. Now, the reality of it is, I return to give a message, to spread a message to the world. Okay, and that message is real simple. Okay, that working together, if all of us work together, or even if the massive majority of us work together, we can get this world running properly. We can eliminate war, famine, greed. Okay, in most people, there are some people that are just built that way, and that's the way they're going to be. Okay, but we can, working together, make this world a whole lot better than what it was. Now, the reality is, you know, the, the whole idea that some people have about being immortal. Here's how to become immortal. Okay, it's not by living forever. It's a question of... Making sure whatever you're doing in this world is leaving positive memories for other people to remember what you did. Okay. And the more memorable it is in a positive sense, the longer you get remembered. I mean, you think about it. We, we can take a look at the, at the big wigs. You know, you can take a look at people like, you know, like the presidents and the prime ministers of various countries and go, they made an impact and people remember them. Okay. And that is very true. It's a very easy way to get remembered. You know, get into office, do something spectacular, you get remembered. The trick is, in your life, okay, like, for instance, for me, okay, the time I spent with my grandmother, okay, was very, in a positive sense, it was very memorable. Okay, I remember, I remember when, when I was first getting married, my grandmother was 90 years old, and she was still dancing. Okay, she's since passed away long ago at this point. Um, I'm guessing, well, she passed in 90, so it's been over 20 years since she's been gone now. But I can still remember the, the smile on her face when she was dancing at, a, at my first wedding. Well, in all fairness, my only wedding. Okay. But by changing the world that you're worried, by changing the energy of the world that you live in, in your immediate area, okay, by doing that, you'll be better equipped to deal with other people, okay? Net result, if, we, if everybody works at, get, at correcting the flow of energy in your own home, 
it will ripple out and affect the entirety of existence. Okay, now it's a long, drawn-out process. This is not going to happen overnight. Of course, in all fairness, it didn't get into this state overnight. Okay, y'all, you know, the reality of it is, it's going to take effort, and the only person on the planet that can change your life for you is you. I mean, yes, there are extenuating circumstances. If somebody comes along and gives you a million dollars, well, that may well change your life. But the sad reality there is if, like me, you did not correct the thinking process, that extra money will be gone like that, and you won't have a whole lot left to work with. Now, I created a problem for myself, and this is something I learned the hard way. Okay, I got myself behind the eight ball, which is normal in life. Sad, but true. But when my parents passed away, the estate cleared, and I wiped out all the back debt that I had. Okay, or at least thought I had. But what I didn't do was I didn't correct the thinking process. Well, now I've got the thinking process corrected, and now I'm just waiting for other finances to, to catch up. But this is going to be, again, a long, drawn-out process. But it's one that I'm very aware of at this point, which means I've corrected the problem that I had. And now I just have to act on it. Just like you. If there is something going on in your life that you're not content with, make an alteration to it. Change it into something more positive. The reality is energy itself cannot be, it does not get stopped, it does not get created, it doesn't get, you know, it doesn't get destroyed. Energy itself can simply be redirected. Okay, and this is why we were talking the other day about something called Feng Shui, which boils down to energy guidance. Okay. And if you take a look at the way your work, the, your work area is working, the more, clear, the, more, the more clearly it is laid out, the better off you are. Okay. And the easier it will be to make things happen. So, I mean, from my standpoint, yes, I've got the pen over in my right hand today, but that's because I'm, quite frankly, having a little bit of fun with the other one anyway. Okay. But, it still boils down to the same, to the same thing. Okay, and that is, you take that list, put a list together of the things that you desire to get done. Okay. Make sure they are only a 15-minute to half-hour task. That way, you'll be able to get them done. You'll be able to get them checked off. When you get the, fir fir the first one done, check it off and write a third one below it. Okay, write technically a fourth one. But by doing that, you'll be able to see you're making progress. Okay. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now over on the side here. Okay is I am literally marking down the things that I've got to get done. It's a question of picking the order I, that I desire to get things done and then making it happen. But remember, all the guidance in the world is 100% useless if you don't pick it up and use it. Now, if you've got a method that's working, that you're getting things accomplished, that's great. Understand, you know, okay, if that's the way things are working for you, then frankly, you're listening. You're probably not listening to this anyway. Every tool that I offer is a tool that I personally am putting to use, if it applies to my life. Okay. Now, the whole idea behind the list is it helps keep me focused. Because in case you hadn't noticed, I get way too many things on the go at a time. Okay. So, with that in mind... I now have my list of three things. Now, of course, two of them will be written off pretty quick here. As soon as I'm done this, as soon as I'm done this recording. Okay, and this is a live recording. Okay, which means when I'm done the recording, I check, make sure I got the date right, and then I post it. I do not edit anything. You get the hiccups, you get the stumbles, you get the pauses. I try and avoid the sneezes, but that happens on occasion too. Okay, and when that happens... You know, you, that's what you get. If you ever run into me in person, you'll find I do exactly the same thing. I talk the same way. This is just the way I am. I am not exactly the most well-spoken individual. Actually, I'm pretty pathetic at it in my eyes, but, you know, that's for the, for the listeners to decide. 
that's up to you guys. But if you have any, so with that in mind, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel because there's a lot of information that's out there and we're getting more and more organized on how we're doing it. Needless to say, I was not into a whole lot of the public speaking side of it before. Okay, so I'm sort of learning this as I go along and well, lucky you, you get to participate if you so choose. But the message I returned to pass on to people was very simple. Regardless of what walk of life you come from, regardless of what your life has been like in the past, starting right here, right now, this is when you have the opportunity to change the direction your life is going. Now, if you're one of these people to go, well, I don't really, you know, I'm 25 years old. I really don't know what I want to do when I get older. Rest easy. Most people I deal with are in between, they are somewhere between their late 40s and their early 50s before they figure out what they desire to do with their life. In my case, I nearly got to the mid 50s. Okay, the rest of it, I was just going haphazardly along the way, running on, as I put it, virtually pure instinct. If it felt right, that was where I went. Understanding the three karmic laws. Be true to yourself first. Do unto others as you desire them to do unto you. And energy out, energy in. I've lived those those three rules my entire life, as far as I recall. Okay. But, now what I'm doing is I'm actually focusing on deliberately picking an area and dealing with it. Okay. In other words, making things happen in a very specific order. To this end. The contract that I that I just signed recently with Author House, okay, as far as my books go, I'm now in the process of deliberately orchestrating how to get it moved. While I'm in the right in the process of writing, I've got to do that count. Um, while I'm in the process of writing quite a number of other books in four or five different genres. What I just wrote here was make sure I figure out how many books I'm actually working on so that I can actually answer that sort of thing. But the reality is energy works in a simple fashion. Okay. People keep telling me that, you know, money is the root of all evil and materialism is, is this terrible thing. Well, in all fairness, materialism is a, is a complicated setup, but the root of evil is fear. Okay. You've got two emotions to deal with. You've got love, which is a positive, interactive thing. Love that you that says, you know, I love you, thump, thump, I'm sorry, it's your fault, but I do love you. There is something seriously wrong with that. Okay, love is peaceful, love is warm, love is, is you know, fuzzy, if you will. But you've got love, and you've got fear. Okay, fear is a control thing. Okay. But the reality behind fear is that's where bad things happen. Whether it's a case you're afraid of losing something, you're afraid of being controlled, you're afraid of not having control, you're afraid of lack of finance, whatever. All of these things contribute to negative interactions. Negative being going against karmic law. Okay. But at this point in time, no matter how you got to where you are, no matter anything about you that sets you apart from others, you got to remember, every single individual in existence is here, right now, right at this moment, and this is the only time that anybody can make changes to their life. Okay, but it's up to you to decide what changes you're going to make, and you're the only one that can make them. Okay. It's much like the only thing you've got, in the only thing you actually possess in your own, in, in life, that nobody can take from you, is your word. Okay. And that simply means, like, people can coerce you into giving your word into something you don't really desire to. But you're the only one that can give it. So keep that in mind whenever you're talking to anybody. If you're going to give your word to something, back it up. Because if you don't back it up, frankly, it's pretty much useless. This is why I tell people, I, the one thing I will not do for people, is unless you directly ask me, there is no way I'm going to lie to you to make you feel better. 
Now that said, this doesn't mean I'm perfect. As a matter of fact, I'll tell you right now, I'm not. Okay, but what I've got going on at this point is a whole lot of things that I'm that I'm working on. But now I'm starting to get things organized where it's like, this is exactly what I'm going to be doing. And of course, you notice I'm writing things down while I'm talking. It's because while I'm talking, thought comes to my head that this is what I've got to do. Net result, write it down and make sure I get it done by the end of the day. Okay, now what is that? That is... What I'm dealing with at this point is that rack, yes, I'm pointing at it, which is really weird because pointing at it should be going over here. That rack there that's got the books on it, that's the one I'm tangling with today. Okay, so I know I don't know if it'll be empty when I'm done with it. Okay, all I do know is that it won't look the same as it did. Primarily because, well, I don't desire it to anymore. And the one advantage I find with this is while I'm talking to you or talking to myself, call it what you will, these are the tools that I'm talking about putting to use. Okay. They're, in, they're very important little tools. Okay. And the reason I call them important is because for me, it's worked like a charm. Have I made mistakes along the way? You bet. But then again... I spent the first 56 years of my life absolutely scrambling it. The last two years has been a little bit more organized. And I'm hoping I finally got the message to myself that the path I'm on right now will result in getting all of my debts all sorted out, all the little bills that I've got that I've racked up since. A lot of those bills are more, quali more accurately qualified as, as being investments. As in spending money with the author house deal, making sure that I've got the marketing done for it, paying to get the, I should show you that. No, I'll do that tomorrow. Um, I'm going to show you something that I've done as far as my books go tomorrow. Because this is a major project. See, I've got two very big projects. One is to take these videos and spread the, spread this one little message that I returned to pass uh, and pass along. Which is, working together, we can make this a better world for virtually everybody. That's the whole point right there. Everybody is born. Everybody dies. Okay. Nobody gets out of this world alive. Okay. Well, there's been two cases I know of where it's happened. And by the way, getting out of this world... Yes, there's been alien abductions, and some of those people never came back. They got out of the world alive. They didn't get out of this life alive. Now, for those of you that believe in past lives, which I firmly do, but then again, I remember mine, and I've had a lot of them corroborated by multiple people. No, I'm not going to go into which ones were which. Okay. But, I will tell you this. I do very... Now... Yeah, I'm not here to tell you what you have to believe. Understand, I work in three very specific on odd fields. And yes, I am a science fiction, science fantasy author. So you can take that and go, well, he's got a heck of an imagination. So what he's talking about is all fantasy. Or you can go, life really is that screwy and he's just writing about it. Now, in all fairness, in my case... I look at it, life is just screwy, and I'm, I'm simply writing about it. Okay, but you make up your own mind. Where it comes to past lives, when we talk about spiritual guidance, I can tell you from what I've seen, and for those of you that don't understand it, that's okay. Past lives work kind of this way. When your corporeal body, your physical body wears out, you get out of it, you go and spend a little bit of time. On average, it seems to work out to about 70 Terran years. Okay, so we're in the early 20s. Yeah, we're in, the, we're in the early 2020s. So you're looking at the early 2090s is when people that pass away now are likely to come back. In my case, okay, so when you do that, most of the time when you get a new vehicle, a new body, you forget where you came from. You forget what you went through. Not always. In my case, I remember a lot of them. I remember, for instance, 
I remember the creation of this planet. Actually, in all fairness, I remember the creation of the universe. Okay, but we are talking past lives. Okay, if we start in this lifetime, I remember what happened with the Exodus in from Egypt. I remember Sodom and Gomorrah. I remember Pompeii and Manoah. I remember World War II, and I'm not talking about remember re reading about them. I remember the events. Okay. I remember 2,000 years ago. I remember the fall of the Roman Empire. Okay. I remember my life as a, as a, as a young lad, a fisherman in Northern Ireland. Okay. I remember my time in jail in the early, in, in the early 1900s. Now bear in mind, I was born in 19, in 1963, this lifetime. So when I'm talking the early 1900s, we're talking about my last life. Okay. And I have never, you know, I've not always been a decent person. Some people might argue whether I am now. But, at least I'm not violent. I remember being a Viking at one point and running one heck of a dragon ship. Like we were very, I was absolutely brutal. But we were very profitable. Okay, I remember the bubonic plague. The Black Death. These are all bits and pieces of things. And absolutely, if you've got questions, even about your own past lives, drop me a line, okay, and one of the contact points below. And I will do my best to answer your questions. Okay, I'd love to hear your comments on, the, on this video. Okay, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've got questions you'd like me to address. Because right about now, I'm now starting to organize it so that I can actually plan what I'm, what I'm going to be discussing in a major topic way. I've been running since, since March. So really for almost five months. Yeah, I think it is five months now. It just passed. Um... Anyway, yeah, draw a blank there. Remember that thing about live about live recordings? Okay, I've been running along very much on instinct. Now it's time to get down to business and start planning what I desire to do. Okay, and to then plan the message or the the overall. You know, if you if you put it in terms of a of a church or a temple, when they start talking about a sermon, they usually have one key thing that they want to talk about. And it works, it works like a charm to give you something to focus on, which is what, uh, where am I here? Probably not for tomorrow, but by the time Monday rolls around, by the time I get through this weekend, I will be, I will have ideas listed as to what the main topics are. And in that, in, with that in mind, if you've got questions, absolutely drop me a line, make a comment on this video. So I know what the question is, and I will do my best to deal with them as quick as I can. The neat part with the, with doing it this way is I'll be able to look at the messages before I do the video. And I'll be able to go, okay, this person wants this, and then I can address the question. Now understand, I will not be using full names for people, but you'll know what the question is, because it'll be, I was asked this question, and here is the answer. That way, if you're asking a question, I will do my best to get the answer to it as quick as I can. Okay, now, I can see that could be a problem in time if I get too many questions to answer them all at the same time, but we'll see what happens. Okay, what that may eventually lead to is doing a specific video to answer questions, which is not a bad idea, really, but it's time to get organized. It's time for you to get organized and for me. And like I said, these are tools that I personally use myself. Okay. Which is why I know they work. And the ones that, I, that I've that i given people that don't apply to me, such as how to quit smoking without, without, um, without withdrawal, without medication, without operation. Okay. Do I know how to do it? Yes. And the reason I know I know how to do it is because I've given enough people the tools and they've implemented them. Okay. I personally don't smoke and I'm not about to start to figure out if I was right. I'll just take my word for it that it worked. Okay. But these are all tools that I've been offering people for over 40 years now. Considering I started when I, w I started dealing with consulting people when I was 10. 
and I am now 58. Obviously, we're looking at 48 years. That's not stopping anytime soon by the look of it. Okay, so I'm going to get on with this stuff. And absolutely, like, like I said, one of the big goals that I've got, okay, is this idea of getting this message out to everybody. Whether they've got a video, whether they simply are, whether you listen to it, you pass on the information to others, you know, verbally. It doesn't matter to me how the message gets out. What does matter to me is whether or not people start realizing that working together, we can make this world a much more enjoyable, much more prosperous place. Okay, a veritable Garden of Eden, if you will. But it's going to take effort and it's going to take persistence to make it happen. Okay, now with that in mind, I'm going to bring this, you know, I've gotten a couple minutes here. With that in mind, it's going to take a lot of work on everybody's part. It's time to stop pointing fingers and going, the elite are responsible, the government's responsible, my pastor is, is causing me problems. It's up to you to change your life. You're the only one on the, in existence that can do it. Okay. Now, we, we will discuss a number of different topics, and I will put that list together probably today, but to start for Monday on a definitive pattern. So bear with me on that one. Okay. And let's get this message spread. That's the first, that is the, the long-term thing as far as the videos go. Now, stuck inside that, I've got a number of books that I'm working on, and I'm going to walk you through, in case you're one of these people that has a big project, and you're not entirely certain how to go about making it happen. Okay, I'm going to walk you through how I did it. Okay, now that's going to come in bits and pieces, but that's one of these things that I'm going to be working on, because it's the only other, the only three jobs that I've got, the only three major goals I've got right now, okay, are... The video, the, you know, spreading the video, getting this and this tw and this twelve volume saga by the name of Elderbach finished, okay, and get it in publication, and raise my family in a way that leaves them feeling like they're being productive. Okay, these are three major goals. Everything else will work in amongst them. And in my case, it's always a question of following those three karmic laws or doing my best to. The reality is I'm not perfect. Okay, but with that in mind, I'm going to bring this to a close. Give us, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel so you can get the rest. And don't forget to hit that alert bell. Okay, so you see when the new ones come up. With that in mind, I'm going to leave you go for the day. I will be back again tomorrow. Until then... Take care of yourselves and each other, and for pity's sakes, stay positive.